It's such an honor and a pleasure to be here today, back at an institution that for many staff and students truly is the school of our lives. Recently I counted 30 teachers who have taught 24 more years at King. The major reason for this, at least from my perspective, is because of the quality of the students we're seeing honored today, their support of family and friends, and the thousands of great students that have come through this school. Some people have suggested that it's too bad you have to go to high school in your adolescence. But not for the majority, at least not here. That is what I continue to believe. Though many accuse me of growing up in a Norman Walkwell painting when it comes to this place. But a case in point. Adelia attended King City from 1987 until 1992. She was a diligent student, a kind, pleasant personality, and continued to dream of the day where she is right now in her life. Adelia, you've come a long way from the flower pot incident at the senior prom in 1992. <laughs> An event I understand with considerable courage was held at your residence. A graduate of Queens and Harvard and a dash of UC Berkeley, Adelia is a museum creator and scholar. She's a world-renowned expert on the 16th century Netherlandish artist Peter Bruegel, the first painter of everyday life. She has worked in museums and galleries in Toronto, Amsterdam, uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and Williamsburg, Virginia. She has curated paintings and photographs and textiles in North America and Europe, and she is a prolific and accomplished writer of essays and catalogs in her areas of expertise. Adelia presently lives and works in Boston. A little touchy subject around this area this weekend, Adelia. <laughs> Her advice for former students, have a sense of humor, dream big, and possess a grateful heart. That is a formula for life, and the extent of her professional accomplishments makes a case for distinction. Please welcome Adelia Bonovic. Wow. Thank you very much, Mr. Senior, and um, thank you, Mr. Ellison, for nominating me. I was um, blown away when he called me last year and said um, that I had been nominated for this award. And it's incredibly humbling and a great privilege to be here with the other distinguished um, nominees. Um, coming here today is amazing. It just brings back a flood of memories of high school. And it's funny because in, in some ways the school hasn't changed at all since 1990, 1987 to 92. And in other ways, it has changed. So there's, for example, a fancy computer screen up here now. And um, we, uh, we actually didn't have email uh, in high school. And we started writing our essays on computers just in about grade 9. Before that, it was typewriters. Um, we had the first Iraq War uh, in 1990. And um, so it was, in many ways, a long time ago, <laughs> almost 25 years ago, and in some ways not that long ago at all. And I'm really, really um, thrilled that we, I represent, and we represent here the biggest class, 1991-1992, who came here today to support um, this case of distinction. Jeff Green, Ian Gallagher, Adrian Vinnie, and Krista Friend, who came here today. So, And I think I speak on behalf of all of them um, when I say that the values that we learned here at KCSS have um, Influence, influenced us um, in our lives. And I just wanted to also say a few things about teachers that, um, that instilled those values and, um, and what, who they were and what those experiences were. So Mr. Harrison came today. <laughs> uh, he was an English teacher. And um, class with him was always incredibly fun. 
he had an, it has an amazing sense of humor. So, for example, I still remember once um, uh, that Jeff Green, who's just sitting a couple chairs behind him, he uh, he once uh, was joking around. They were joking around often, and he once called Mr. Harrison Mr. Harris, <laughs> and Mr. Harrison just knocked him on the, on the side of the head with a piece of paper. Um, he always wore suspenders. We missed those. I was hoping to see those suspenders too. <laughs> <laughs> My wife burned them. <laughs> and Mr. Thompson, I'm delighted to see you here today. I was thinking about you on the way in this morning, actually, and you taught me math. Um, and it was the only, math was never my strength, it was the only math class um, that I actually really enjoyed and learned a lot from. And um, derivatives, I still remember learning derivatives from you. And I think the reason why um, math was so enjoyable and why I learned so much from you is because of your kindness. You were a very, I remember you as a very caring teacher who, who paid careful attention to every student and to their progress and made sure that they were doing well and, and, and didn't let anyone sort of fall by the wayside. Um, Mr. Ellison, I never had the pleasure of having you as a teacher. <laughs> but from you, I learned spirit, because you were always the glue that binds. And the fact that you, you know, today have arranged this event and um, the whole case of distinction is just a testament to that. So thank you very much for that important lesson. And um, uh, Ms. Well, last but not least, of course, Mr. Sinyard. Um, Mr. Sinyard um, was the most influential teacher on me in high school. He, um, I think I had him for grade, both grade 9 and 10 history, and he um, taught me respect. He had an incredible sense of dignity and respect for all students, um, for his fellow teachers, for the school as an institution, not just what was happening in the school, um, and not just um, the community spirit um, in the school, but also the way the school was in the community as a whole. And um, I'll never forget, for example, Mr. Sinyard was teaching us about um, world politics. And in the late 18, 1980s, we were still thinking about Russia a lot. And um, I remember Mr. Sinyard actually <coughs> asking us, well, what do you think the average Russian looks like? And um, uh, those of us, you know, we were all kids from local kids had never been to Russia. And so we had this sort of movie, movie image of Russians as these dark, swarthy, scary people. And Mr. Senior pointed to a few students in the class, um, I think Mark Duke was one of them, and myself, and said, they could be Russian, you know. And it, it really taught me diversity, and the idea of valuing and respecting all different cultures and all different people. So. I guess I wanted to end this by saying thank you very, very much to all of you for everything that you've taught me. And um, on behalf of our fellow students here um, today, um, we've really brought those values, um, I'm sure, of generosity and um, spirit and kindness and respect um, to our own teaching and to our own professions. My classmates are incredibly accomplished that are here today as well. Krista Friend is very senior in the banking industry, and Ian Gallagher is in tech, and Jeff as well in, in, um, in, the, in the finance world, and Adrian has her own company in quilts. So it's, it's incredible um, to be here today with everyone, and that everyone that's, um, we all bring these values that we learned in high school here in, uh, at KCSS to everything we do. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.